Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to Banjo To Be Blind. In the last episode, I believe we got three jiggies. If my memory is serving me correctly, we got a ton of progress done in the end of the last episode. We have nine note or nine jiggies. We have one more left, which is the safe, and we also have some other things to collect as well. So in this episode, let's clean up the rest of Cloud Cuckoo Land and see what we can get ourselves into here. Now. At this point, it's just exploration, just kind of finding things. What is over here? Anything? I have no idea. So I'm just going to fly around to see if I've missed anything important because I feel like I might have missed some pretty important things. Like what's in this cave? Have we even been into this area yet? I have no idea. Oh, well there's that. And I don't know if that's all that's been in here. Jeez, what is up here? Is that all? Oh, there is stuff here. Holy cow, there is things up here. Don't fall, please. Oh my god, this actually might be the rest of the notes. Holy cow, that's the rest of the notes, y'all. Oh. You know what? I'm not gonna do this crap. How would you even get up here as Banjo? There's no way you can't use this to do whatever you gotta do up here. Oh, look at all this. Oh my goodness, I did not even think this was going to be all in one place. I know we needed 100 notes, and I know we needed to find the last combination. Oh my god. It's a real rare date. Oh my god, is that like the year rare started out or something? And it's like a pun or something? That has to be it. But oh man, I I'm not going to fall down there. I'm going to die. <laughs> Sir, you're going to cause my death too, aren't you? Well, you know what? If I land in the water, then it's not death, is it? Oh, let's do it. All right, Banjo. There's land in the water. Hey, we did it. Wow, we got all the 100 notes. This is the final jiggy. And all we have left to do is die, of course. No, all we have left to do now is collect some um, honeycomb pieces, I believe. Yeah, there it is. Holy cow, 84 jiggies. One... And one more Jinjo. I have not even considered the thought of the last Jinjo either. Well, the rest of this episode is going to be some uh, exploration for sure, because good lord, I have no idea where we're going to be missing things. I'm probably going to have to fly around and just kind of look around, because there might be like areas behind stuff that I need to check out. Who knows, man. But we're going to have to go back outside and do some flying, because like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. There might be stuff near the top, but that might have been the area near the top. But I have to say, I really like this world. It's probably my favorite in the entire game, even though it's the last one. Alright, but in any way. We're gonna have to look around stuff, like, just look around in general, like, behind stuff, you know? Like, for example, this cheese. Oh, sir, I do not want to do all that. Being the meat might actually be a smart idea. Like, is there anything on top of this cheese? That might be a thing. No? Is there anything like behind the cheese? Or is that just where the thing was? That's, I think that's where the thing was. Uh, like this pot of gold. Is there anything behind the pot of gold? Did I check behind this very ever? Like there's things like that. I feel like I'm going to be missing things because of that, you know? Oh my god. Well, there's your answer right there. Oh, okay. Thank. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to check out a bunch of other areas too. I almost went into that bubble. But okay, um, let's go and... I don't believe there's only one teleporting pad this entire level. I really don't. And it's crazy to think I've only found one. Like there's not others? Or it's because everything is so centered around that you don't really need to... use the teleport, you know what I'm saying? I have no idea what I'm trying to say. We don't need the bee anymore, so there's no point, but I think there's a... There's not a flying pad over here, is there? I don't think so. Like that trash can. Did I even check behind that trash can? I have to literally check behind everything to make sure I didn't miss anything. But I think back here is a flight pad, so I can go ahead and check that out too. Whew. Man, if we clear this world, I can't believe. This is probably the shortest world besides World 1 that's taken us to clear this. I think that's really awesome, to be honest. Like. What's over here? Is there anything important? 
No, is there anything behind it? Oh, I just see some feathers. Is there anything on the top? Oh my goodness, there's a frick... Dude. No way. No way. That's everything besides the Jinjo, is it not? Yeah, there's everything besides the Jinjo. Oh, where would the Jinjo be? We got the Jinjo inside the cheese. I think there was a Jinjo inside here, too, that we've already gotten. Where were there... Man, I'm just, like, causing so many damages to myself right now. You can't even go into there without... I think we already got that one. Yeah, because we used the clockwork egg to get that one. Where have I not checked for Jinjos, though? There's one in the cheese. Dude, my memory sucks. <laughs> I have no idea. Is this going to be one of those things where I need to edit and, like, look around and find the Jinjo? Or am I just going to have to, like, do this and see if I can remember? Because right now it's not even... There's something over here, though. What's over here? Oh, that's how you get... Okay, I see. There's a Jinjo in there. You really do go through a lot of feathers, though, around here. Uh -oh. Behind this was the honeycomb. Uh -oh. hmm. I don't know, man. I have no idea. Am I stupid? Maybe I missed it somewhere. Uh -oh. This cheese, though. I, I already got the ginger. There was already a ginger in here. Right? Yeah, we, we already got that one. Man. But then if I edit it out, and then... What else would I do when I'm done, you know? Do some side quests? But I want to save that for its own video. Did not expect this to be this fast. Honestly, I did not expect this to be fast at all. I don't know, man. I guess we're just gonna have to... Jerk around and figure out what we're doing. Like, there's already a Jinjo in here we already gotten, so I don't even need to know what I'm doing. I just gotta do some more and look around again just to be sure I didn't miss anything. Like up there is where we just were. I'm drawing a blank, folks. I might have to just cut out and figure out where I'm gonna find that Jinjo. Because who knows where it could be, right? So, I guess I'll fly around and I'll see you guys if something happens or if I even get an idea of where the Jinjo might be. Because right now I have no idea. Dude, I have freaking no idea where it would be. I checked Mumble Skull, which I already done. I've checked everywhere, and I have no idea. Wait. Wait. Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you freaking kidding me? Not even kidding you right now? I have been in here looking for this Jinjo for maybe 15 minutes. That's bon- Okay, you know what? Just, just let's get out of here. Honestly. Just, just get out of here. That's insane. Well! There you go. Well, now I'm not sure... We have to leave the world now. We're done here, right? We're done here, right? Yeah, I think we're pretty much done here. No, 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 stop. Yeah, let's view the totals here. That's everything. So we know... Actually, you know I was going to say things that we can do now. Which is pretty much... I'm, I'm going to assume everything else. So let's just take the... Let's just take the L. Just take the drop. Head back to the main entrance. Leave the world. And then, I guess to end the episode... We're going to go and... Uh, give in some of our cheats and... Uh, Jinjo pages. No, our Cheeto pages and our honeycomb pieces. That'll be a good way to end things off here. While we do that, I could discuss my thoughts on that world. And I have to say, probably the most amount of progress I've made in a long time in like a short time. How long did it take to finish that world? I'm actually going to go through all that right now. Just to see how long the worlds took. Oh my god, we finished Isle of Hags. We got all the jiggies from all the Jinjos. 
Oh my god! Oh man, everything is coming together so nicely and it's like kind of bittersweet. Anyway, so an hour and 32 minutes in Maya Hem, an hour and 31 in Glitter Gulch Mine, an hour and 49 in Witchy World. The time is just going up the more we go through. Two and two hours and five minutes in Jolly Roger. We're still not done there, which means I can go over what we can do now. We have to go back to Hellfire Peaks to take care of the water situation now that I believe we lower the ice, making the water good enough, maybe? So we have to do that. Here we have to do the stomping grounds as Banjo. And I'm guessing the snooze pack, which allows us to sleep in our bag, is going to get us through there to get the final jiggy in there. Then we need to go back here for, once again, the, uh, the one that allows us to go inside our bag to protect us, which also allows us to go inside crevices. And then, the, I believe the... Uh, the move we just learned might also help us, too. I'm not sure. I'll have to figure that one out when we get there. And then Hellfire Peaks. What am I missing, Hill? Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Pterodactyl Land, we need to do the stuff with the Ooga Boogles. That's what we gotta do. That's what we gotta do. What am I missing in Hellfire Peaks? Dude, I do not remember. That's... <laughs> That's not good. I don't remember. Crap. Well, at any rate, maybe I'll remember while we're doing things. So let's go ahead and make our way back to... Uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I need to go back to uh, Cheeto to turn in our cheat. That's like our first thing. Because I believe we have enough for a new cheat. Which is pretty sweet. I could just cut back there, but like... That, that was the final world of the game. At this point, we're just cleaning up, and then I think we're just going to like... I guess I'm gonna assume we're gonna be doing some end game stuff like boss stuff. You know, like final boss stuff. I don't wanna say bye to this let's play. I'm not no, we're not done. Stop. Stop. Stop saying don't stop it. You are gonna fit we're not done here. We still got things to do. You're not done. Playing this amazing game. We're not done. But let's go ahead and come in here. And we do have five notes or five Cheeto pages, so we gotta get in a cheat. I love how we started the uh the Cloud Cuckoo Land episodes, getting a cheat, and now we're ending it with a cheat? I don't know. Fifth cheat is Jukebox. That's all the cheats I can give you for now. If you find any more pages, you know where to find me. You can get more pages. What is the Jukebox cheat? Well, of course we're gonna have to enter it, but I think we'll do that after we go back to um, the Honeybee to um, turn in our... Uh, uh, honeycombs. So I think we might have enough for a new health extension. And nice, nice landing there. Uh, I almost called you Mumbo, but you're not Mumbo. You're Banjo, man. You're Banjo. We're not we're, we're, we're Banjo, you know. Actually, the water thing might be the way to get the last Jiggy in Hailfire Peaks, but that wouldn't be right, though, would it? No, that's not right. Uh, the plateau. Yeah, the B phase is where the uh, the B is. It would make sense for it that way, wouldn't it? Alrighty, so let's go ahead and make our way over here to the honeybee, get our, uh, you know, our thing, get our cheat activated, and then we will, I guess, end this episode. That's so sad. Hello there. I'm honeybee, I'll trade you extra energy units. Yeah, we've already done this before, thanks. You have enough honeycombs for an extra? Yes, we do! Yes, please! Sure, honey. Jeez, that's so weird. Big bear. Here's your extra energy. And that is 10 units of energy, y'all. That is 10 health. That's a lot of health. Unless we get more health or a honeycomb somewhere else, I'm guessing that's literally it for uh, health extensions and Cheeto pages. Which, again, is kind of bittersweet to say. But now, our last thing we're going to be doing this episode is turning in our cheat. So, let's go back to the Wooded Hollow. I'm actually just going to walk all the way there this time. I'm not going to do some cutting or anything. I could. I probably should. We've seen this trip multiple We've, This is, like, the crazy thing. We've entered World 1 the most out of any world in the game. Like, we've been in here for so many things. We went in here to get through Hailfire Peaks to, you know, um, do the the kickball tournament, you know? Oh, uh, where is it? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. We need to activate the jukebox cheat. And in doing so, we'll activate a cheat. Hopefully it's... I don't even know. The jukebox sounds like something involving, you know, the soundtrack or something. Which would make sense to me. But 
Let's go ahead and see what it does. Alright, so jukebox. Okay, he's right in front of me. That is... No. Sir. Wait, what? That's actually... Because it didn't stop me. It would have allowed me to keep going. So that's a cheat. I don't know. Uh, box. Uh, where's that? Yeah, the exit. Right there. there we go! The jukebox cheat will activate the jukebox at Jolly's. Oh. Is that like a cheat I, I can activate, or is that just something that's already enabled? Is that like. I don't even know what that is. Do I want to activate that? Is that like. I'm guessing it just means you can access the soundtrack, right? I'm going to turn it on. And then. If I have to. Or if it's broken, I, I imagine it wouldn't be broken. We still have not seen the homing at all, have we? Does it actually work? Like, it didn't do anything, so I don't know if that's something you activate at the... at. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But let's go ahead and leave this world, and I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I really think. That's insane. I guess the next episode, we're going to be cleaning up the rest of the world and getting 100% and everything else. Jeez, this game is so good. I, I, I'm gonna, I really am, I feel like I'm gonna play this again by myself at some point, like, later on in my life. Uh, I guess I should probably, I don't know where I'm gonna end things off, though. Do I wanna end things... Eh, let's end it in Jinjo Village, you know? We just completed the Isle of Hags, 100%. This, this is just fitting for me to end things off at. Next time on Banjo-Tooie Blind, we're gonna go through the other world of the game and complete them 100%. And then I'm guessing we're going to be doing some endgame stuff after that. That's really bittersweet. That's really sad. But we got to do it and make the plans going. So, with that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Banjo-Tooie Blind. I will see you guys then.